what's up youtube so yeah it's not early in the morning it's late in the night it is 128 130 uh so yeah i just wanted to uh give a quick uh, a complete review on the uh, powertronics version 3.0 so yeah, I'm not riding or I'm, I don't want to show any top speed runs because it's really not safe to do such things. Uh, so yeah, uh, many of you guys had actually asked me about the uh, the Powertronics. Uh, is it worth it? What is the performance and extra, etc. So let me put it in, uh, uh, easy, in an easy way for you guys to understand. So basically, yeah, come, uh, the first thing is if uh, you're really not happy the way the power is delivered on your Duke 390 like for example the 2014, the 2013 and the 2015 uh, they are a little bit jerky and uh, the fueling is not precise so yeah for that you can definitely go for the uh, Powertronics and uh, get all the flat spots uh, smoothened out uh, so yeah mine is a Duke 2014 model and uh, the Powertronics works absolutely brilliantly it is uh, it's uh, definitely a must have uh, you know accessory or a mod on your bike and no matter if you're using it for street, for track, for touring, no matter what it is, this gives you, uh, this basically unlocks the complete potential of your bike. So, uh, many of you guys are also asking me about the uh, the top speeds I've done on this. Frankly speaking guys, uh, Powertronics is not about uh, the top speed. It's about how fast uh, you get there. Now, for example, the a stock Duke can do 170, 175-ish uh, on the speedo, right? So what this does is the Powertronics basically your rev limiter is unlocked so you can rev all the way to 12,000 rpm uh, which I know is not healthy enough for the engine but yeah uh, talking about top speeds I've done about the 170 to 173 I weigh about uh, 64 kgs I know I'm light so yeah that's an added advantage uh, apart from that it uh, if, if, if you compare it with the stock Duke which I've done this has a good lead of about two two and a half bikes when you're actually going uh, you know full throttle the power delivery is super linear and uh, i'm not saying the uh, you know the jerkiness the herky jerkiness has been sorted out completely it definitely has a lot of room for improvement which uh, i will be working on in the future as of I really now i don't know how you can uh, uh, you know tune the settings because uh, i'm not very uh, tech savvy with that so yeah it can be connected to the uh, laptop uh, which goes into the uh, uh, piggy bank which is under your seat and you can play with all the settings so if you guys know how to do it you guys owning one you know how to do it uh, i really envy you guys because i don't know jack shit about how this can be tuned but nevertheless when i given my inputs and when i uh, you know tell the folks at race dynamics see dude uh, this is what is happening i need this to be sorted out they know what exactly i want and that's how uh, good their customer service is as well uh, what next uh, is it rideable is it worth going for it absolutely yes uh, like i said earlier this can be tuned to any kind of riding say for example uh, i'm a kind of a rider who loves more of uh, you know mid-range and uh, uh, the low end torque so obviously the duke 390 uh, has got all that a stock duke 390 so imagine you have a powertronics and you bumped that a bit so it does exceptionally well in the mid-range i just love the way it pulls any gear it just pulls for example if i'm in sixth gear i need to overtake i come down to say 50 55 i open the throttle it gives a very good surge and the power is uh, you know the, the old 390s are actually scary to ride because the power was so abrupt it just throws you off right so yeah, guys apart from the uh, the box you also get a map switch over here it is actually not a switch it's more like a clamp uh, not a clamp it's like a, a plug-in device so uh, it's a plug basically so you can unplug it which is map one and if when you plug it back in it is map two so you can have uh, you know a highway map and uh, a street map or a racetrack map so yeah this is how the box sits inside your uh, under the seat which goes well with the frame which is orange in color as well vibrations will be there it's a single cylinder big ass piston vibrations will be there you can't help that and yeah the price the price is about 18,000 if i'm not wrong it's within 18 19,000 so if you guys can uh, contact race dynamics on their uh, facebook page or go on to the website uh, or i look i can also uh, leave the uh, contact number for the person in the link in the description below uh, whose name is chetan very helpful guy he will help you and uh, it's not only for the 390 guys the power bar the power bank shit what am i saying not the power bank the uh, the powertronics it's really good 
So let it be a Ninja and uh, Ninja 650, a Ninja 300, a Kawasaki 250. They do every bike. They have the piggy bank for all the bikes. So if you guys are really interested, do have a look. And uh, last but not the least, I really do apologize for the guys who have been waiting for such a long time for the review. Uh, the reason why I've taken a lot of time is because it's not that I didn't want to do it or didn't have the time to do it. I wanted to spend more time with it to see whether it's actually worth it. Yeah, because I'm not promoting this product or uh, you know i'm not uh, uh, saying this is the best just because i'm not paid for it obviously because i'm testing it for these guys uh, but nevertheless it's a brilliant product uh, you can always try it before you buy it it's not that you have to buy it and then regret no i don't need it you can always contact these uh, folks in race dynamics tell them that you know what i'm interested they will uh, give you a box where you can try it out if you're happy well and good you can go for it so yeah, I'm, I'm super happy with this and I'm really loving each and every, uh, you know, ride or riding experience I'm having with this uh, little... I'm, I'm really astonished with the way, you know, it transforms the bike completely. And there is no way I can ride the bike without this uh, stocked uh, 390. Trust me, I just cannot ride it. And the people who have actually ridden my uh, 390, they are like... I mean, you, you have... Uh, you, they have no words to say, you see. So it's that good. Uh, apart from that, uh, it's very easy to install. Again, if you're based in Bangalore, you can head down to their uh, garage, which is in Sajapura, and uh, get it sorted out there. But apart from that, they also provide CDs, manuals, online manuals to see how you can fix it. It's very easy. It takes about 10-15 minutes. Uh, I, I will not uh, run you through the uh, technical bits because uh, I'm not sure what are the uh, cables goes into which plug and what sensor, blah, blah, blah. It is really easy to for one to sort it out. And yes, uh, apart from that, I also had the quick shifter from Race Dynamics for about a week, uh, which was again uh, a prototype. Uh, it is still not in production. So as you can see in the video now, That was the quick shifter tell me let me know guys what do you think about the quick shifter i don't have it on the bike right now i did have it for about four five days it worked brilliantly brilliantly so quick shifter is nothing but uh, clutchless upshift without uh, you know uh, blipping a throttle so you keep the throttle wide open and you just keep shifting one two three four five six so a quick shifter is something which i wouldn't recommend if you're a daily uh, street user and uh, once in a way touring it's really not uh, worth the investment because it costs a good 11,000 rupees just the quick shifter so you need to have the power tronics as well so yeah it's again up to you but i would always say it's a good accessory to have on the bike especially when you're uh, touring or uh, the, the the most uh, the place where it comes very uh, important is your uh, the, you know people who are into track days and drag races it's amazing so yeah guys uh, that was my quick uh, full review on the uh, the power tronics uh, if you think I've missed out anything, I've, I've spoken about the price, the performance, the mileage is the same guys, absolutely the same. I've not seen any uh, dip or rise in the mileage, it's absolutely the same. Uh, I get about 30-32 in the highways and in the city it varies due to the traffic. Uh, so in the city I get about 26-28, it sometimes goes down to 22-24, again depends on the traffic. Uh, but yeah, apart from that I have no issues with the bike after having this installed. I have used it for a good 6 months, this is the 7th month and i've done close to 4000 maybe 4000 4500 kilometers and i've had zero issues with the bike with uh, the powertronics installed so i would say go for it i'm sure you will love it so yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down tell me what went wrong and don't forget to hit the subscribe button because uh, i have some interesting videos coming up in the next couple of weeks which might not be related to bikes you might not see this black and orange fella but yeah stay tuned guys until next time peace